So the first presidential debate was last night. <sighs> Let's talk about it. People have been telling the Democrats for not even months, years at this point, that he cannot be a sustainable president. Now, regardless of whether you are voting Trump or voting Biden or voting RFK, I mean, that's bad. I mean, come on. This is just really, really sad uh, on whether or not you can't even decide on whether or not you want to keep him. I mean, come on. Like, that's just crazy. Uh, it's never we've never really done this in the history of our country where we have decided or at least a group of people have decided that, hey, maybe this guy's not cut out for it. Let's replace him before the whole nomination. And honestly, this is really early for a presidential debate because, I mean, technically both Trump and Biden are not the official candidates for the Republican and Democratic Party, respectively. Uh, so, I mean, this is just kind of unprecedented. Uh, but it, it's right there. I mean, you can see it. I mean, that's just, I mean, that's just sad, really. I mean, let's look at another one. And this one right here from uh, NBC News. Can, Democrats talk about replacing Joe Biden. That wouldn't be so easy. And they're, and they're right. It, it would be very difficult to replace him at this point. Um, he did not have a good performance. Uh, he was very slow and raspy and just he was not doing a great job. He um, was just doing not great. I mean, very clearly, people are starting to really worry about is Joe Biden competent enough to be able to be president for another four more years? And I think the safe answer is no, he's not. Uh, let's take a look at some video because I, at some of his answers that he had at the debate because they were just woof. Initiative relative to what we're going to do with more border patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump? Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. If a republic In this clip right here, I believe they're talking about either the COVID response or immigration or abortion. Who knows? He was kind of all over the place, but just, just listen to him. Um, dealing with everything we have to do with uh, look, he had to say that they go to thank jail. you, President Trump. The only person on this stage is a convicted felon, is the man I'm looking at right now. But he could be a convicted felon as soon as he gets out of office. He caused the inflation, and it's killing black families and Hispanic families. There was no inflation when I became president. You know why? The economy was flat on its back. 15% unemployment. He decimated the economy. The only one who wants the war to continue is Hamas. We are the biggest pr pr producer of support for Israel of anyone in the world. He said the only one who wants to keep going is Hamas. Actually, Israel is the one, and you should let him go and let him finish the job. The only existential threat to humanity is climate change, and he didn't do a damn thing about it. He wants to undo all that I've done. The Paris Accord was going to cost us a trillion dollars. It was a ripoff of the United States. He never fired people. I've never seen him fire any, but I did fire a lot. I fired Comey because he was no good. I fired a lot of the top people at the FBI, drained the swamp. They were no good. I mean, come on. The poor guy can't even answer the daggum question. And they want him to continue to run for president of the United States? That's just sad. It makes me sad. And then this clip here, I mean, Biden didn't really say anything, but you can see it on the look on his face. I mean, he just looks flabbergasted. Like, like he also just doesn't really want to be here. Let's, I mean, just just look at him. I've never seen him fire any, but I did fire a lot. I fired Comey because he was no good. I fired a lot of the top people at the FBI, drained the swamp. They were no good. I mean, he's just, it's just bad. So I actually watched uh, the RFK version of this. And the way that RFK did it was very, very good. Uh, he had it live streamed and he had himself on his own podium uh, with his own moderator and he, they would ask the question on CNN, Trump and Biden would answer, and then they would pause it and then go to RFK, and RFK would answer his version of what he would do as president. Um, and they kind of talked about the other president's uh, responses and, and so on and so forth. And honestly, RFK, uh, there's some things he said I didn't agree with. Again, I'm, no one's going to agree 100% with everybody, especially in today's political climate. But he at least sounded well-informed. He sounded very good. And honestly, one thing I don't like about our current state of politics is that people believe that there has to be a Republican, has to be Democrat. 
And that is just not how people like George Washington intended the government to be run. It, he didn't want political parties. If you go back and look at George Washington stuff, he very clearly didn't want political parties. He said that in his farewell speech. He said two things. Don't get involved in Europe. Don't form political parties. And, and now that we have, we have stuck ourselves into this two camps of you're either this or you're that. And, and that's just not how it should be. Uh, I'm not saying who I'm voting for. Uh, I just don't think that that's my place here on this platform. Uh, but at the moment, RFK looks pretty good. I highly suggest that you go check out RFK and look at his stuff and, and do do your own research. Uh, that, that's all. That's what I tell my my kids and my students when I teach them is is take my word with a grain of salt. Look for it for yourself. And honestly, that's what we all need to do as American citizens is we need to look at these debates and we need to look at these platforms and we need to look at these things as unbiased as possible and and vote on who you agree with. Don't vote because someone like me tells you to vote for somebody or someone else on the internet tells you to vote for somebody. Vote on who you agree with and vote on who you think would make the best possible leader. Not because you're a Democrat, not because you're a Republican, not because you're a Libertarian. Vote on the issues. Look at where we were four years ago, even eight years ago, even before COVID, after COVID. Look at all these things and, and go with your gut. That's all I can say when it comes to voting. Look at these with a grain of salt. And I would even dare say, look at polling with a grain of salt. Uh, polling data can be so skewed. Uh, one thing I teach my kids, because I teach uh, not only U.S. history, but I teach world history, but I also teach American government. And one of the first things that we do in American government is I teach my kids how to look at poll data and how to look at accurate poll data and how to determine what is a more accurate poll versus an inaccurate poll. Uh, but this was just kind of my spiel on the debate last night. Uh, I hope maybe there's some insight. Again, go check some things out for yourself. Go look at some highlights from the debate. Go look at some of the things that RFK Jr. said uh, and his version of the debate, what he called the real debate. You can find his video on uh, X, formerly Twitter, I guess. Uh, you could probably find some clips of it on YouTube. And, and RFK is really big on TikTok right now. Go check him out. Go look at his stuff and make an informed decision for yourself. Uh, right now, that's kind of it for now. i got some more videos coming out later. I hope you have a great one. hope you have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.